Hi guys and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. This is going to be a collective tarot reading, therefore this isn't specifically intended for any one sign, but if you've clicked on this reading um, and if you're here, there's obviously something that's pulled you here, there's um, a reason why you've been led here, guided here or drawn to this reading. And in today's reading, we are going to take a look and see whether or not um, your person is going to contact you, okay? Or when you can expect contact and communication from your person next. As mentioned, it's a general reading, but if you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. So, to begin the reading, there is a very strong energy of um, action, okay? There is this, and I'm not sure if this is coming from you or whether it's coming from your um, connecting energy, but there's this force that is very present in the reading. Force, action, almost like this push-pull struggle kind of energy. So um, maybe this is where you're at with your person, okay? Maybe right now you're going through, you know, five of swords situation. There's a little bit of tension, okay? However the tension has manifested in your connection, um, you know, there is some, like the relationship is not where you want it to be, okay? And things are not what you want for them to be right now. And you... Someone here is trying to do things by way of using force. So they're trying to force to make things happen. They're trying to force the connection. They're trying to force contact. They're trying to force communication. They're trying to force things to flow. This kind of energy is coming from a place of anger. It could also be coming from a place of fear. Okay, and it's not the correct energy to be operating in. Um... You can't just go ahead and, you know, you can't necessarily get after what it is that you want by coming from this energy, okay? By coming from an energy of force or by coming from an energy of fear. I mean, you can, you know, you can, but it won't necessarily go very well for you and it will backfire and it's not something that's going to make you happy and it's not going to get you the results that you want. Um, right now, okay, you and your person have to kind of take a step back. From your situation okay so if there's no contact there's no communication um that's happening for a reason and you have to let go okay so for those of you that are really trying to force contact you're trying to force a situation you're trying to force yourself to to be happy even when you're not in a specific situation um you need to take a step back you need to relax you need to let go and you need to trust okay you need to trust let things happen. Let the chips fall where they may, okay? Let things happen. Um, and what will happen is positive momentum is going to start building around you and around this person, okay? It will not build if you're placing so much resistance, okay? And if you're placing so much force and so much like struggle, okay? Because it, it is a bit of a struggle. Contact communication is a struggle. Connecting with your person is a struggle. You know, um, teeing up a time to see each other um, or giving each other the time and the energy this connection um, needs or requires is a struggle, okay? Um, it shouldn't have to be, okay? Um, you should keep things light. You cannot force... You cannot fight, you cannot struggle your way through this relationship, okay? Um, and you cannot do it through an energy of resistance. And that's exactly what we see present in the um, reading here, okay? There's this force, there's a lot of action, okay? But things aren't necessarily getting anywhere. There's a lot of, like, push, the push and pull kind of energy. There's a lot of struggle and it's exhausting, okay? It's really, really exhausting here and it's draining you. It's draining, and it shouldn't be, right? It's exhausting you mentally, emotionally. It's exhausting you physically in the process. Um, you need to keep it light. You cannot force your way through this connection. You cannot force, you know, your person, okay? Um, especially through this energy of fear, or through this energy of resistance, okay? You can't try and overcome resistance because it's just going to create more of it. And it's, it's going to feel heavy. Is, is that how it feels for a lot of you? Because the energies themselves feel heavy. Like, it feels like this all feels a bit fatiguing. It all feels a little bit exhausting. You know, the fact that there's no contact or there's no communication or the fact that you have so much tension and 
friction and there's so much stress or there's so much struggle in this relationship in this connection or even just you know with regards to this person it doesn't have to feel that way not at all Take this time to sort of step back from the from your situation, okay? Or take this time to sort of step back and um, look at things, um, and really just allow things to happen. And you'll find that things are going to take care of themselves. So if you're in a um, place right now where you're expecting to hear from your um, connecting energy, where you're expecting to, you know, have contact, have communication, or even reconnect, this could be the ex. Oftentimes when the devil shows up in a reading, he, um, the devil does represent an ex. So it could be, you know, you're trying to uh, re-attract the energy of your ex, or you're trying to get back together here. But a lot of you are coming at this from a place of, you know, force, from a place of anger, okay? Also, um, you know, from a place of fear because that's where the force that's the energy the force is operating in um you you kind of have to give this a little bit more space okay because some of you you know the expectation is there the expectation is to re-attract someone or attract someone the expectation there is you know to, to receive contact receive communication or at the very least get this person to respond um however your needs are going to be met but you need to take a step back here you need to take a step back from the situation um just also like really you know imagine just imagine and also allow for things to happen naturally and let things work out and all you have to do is smile sit back smile and sit back and trust i know it sounds too simple but you don't have to worry about you know receiving contact or receiving communication from this person because it is on its way okay but if you keep operating from this energy of force okay if you're, if you're operating from this energy of anger you know you're not hearing from this person and therefore you're angry or therefore you're emotionally upset or you know you're fearful or you're resistant you know if you keep putting out that vibration you're going to attract that same vibration back to you okay and maybe this is why this is what's causing this stress and tension and friction in the connection okay um or maybe this is why there's so much action but it's really not going anywhere you just have to let you know you don't have to worry about controlling how your person feels about you or how they're going to react to a situation because that's not within your control. All you have to do and all you have to worry right now, I mean, you don't even have to worry, but all you have to focus on right now is just, you know, you don't have to push. You don't have to pull. All you have to do is just sort of let things happen, okay? Let things happen naturally. Just let things work out on their own. And when you do that, things are going to start working out. Because you've got some very wonderful cards here in the reading. But then you've also got this really heavy energy, okay? And it's this heavy energy that kind of overshadows the other cards that you have here. So this energy of anger or this energy of, you know, fear and resistance, Okay, you might want to get to a certain goal. Okay, you might want a certain outcome and you might have a certain expectation from your person and from this relationship. And that's great. Um, but if you sort of just allow for things to happen, okay, even if though you might have certain expectations and, you know, certain, certain intentions. But if you just let things happen, if you just approach this from an energy of, you know, let's just see what happens. Your person is going to respond, okay, in that same energy. They're going to respond to those vibrations that you're putting out there. And what you're putting out there is, you know, um, an outcome that can be very different to what you hoped for, but still very positive, okay? Um, so it, it will still be just as great, but different. And, um, it, you know, results will show up and it may surprise you. And surprise is always great, right? Um Because right now, there's this energy of force, right? There's this really strong, heavy energy present in this um, reading here. And there's this energy of force. And some of you are trying to force things to happen. Some of you are trying to make things happen. And deep down inside, you probably feel it. You probably feel like you're doing too much, you're saying too much, or you're trying to really force things, okay? You're really struggling here in that sense. 
by forcing this, by forcing, you know, contact communication, or even by forcing, trying to force this connection to work, you're never really going to find out what it, what it is that you're looking for, okay? You're always going to be struggling, you're always going to be pushing, resisting, you know, operating in an energy, from an energy of fear. Um, you can't try and, cause for some of you, and I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's your person, but someone he's trying to, it's almost like they're trying to force, persuade, intimidate, or even like threaten someone else's energy, you know? Um, you know, they're trying to really force something to happen, okay? It, things are not going to fulfill, things are not going to happen in that kind of energy, okay? And um, someone he is using, someone is operating from this energy of guilt or even shame. Um, and I don't, again, I don't know if it's you or your person, but someone he is counting on fee and counting on, you know, anxiety and counting on resistance to make them act. Force further produces this energy of unworthiness, inadequacy, smallness. So see how it's kind of lowering your self-esteem as well? It's just not good, okay? Wherever there is force, there truly cannot be love. Um, you know, so there can only be like fear here, there can only be anxiety, there can only be anger, there can only be resentment. So whenever you use force, you're producing that energy in your situation. You're, you're producing that energy. You're putting that vibration out there. Your person is then picking up on that vibration and is responding in the same in the same way, okay? Or is responding in the same vibrations. And it's you can't win honorably. Not in that, you know, not using force and not using that, not in that energy. Um, It's this, this, you know, if you try to force and make things happen, and some of you, you know, you're not physically forcing it, but you're operating from a place of fear, like you want it to happen, but you're fearful that it's never going to happen. Um, and that that's kind of, you're resisting, you're resisting contact, you're resisting communication, your energy is pushing, okay, repelling this person instead of attracting this person or reattracting this person. Um, so by letting, you know, by letting things just happen, it, it's creating freedom, okay? And then you're giving your person the freedom to choose, the freedom to act, the freedom to communicate, re reach out and respond. And you're giving this relationship, this connection, the freedom to just be what it's meant to be, okay? And you will see that shortly, okay? If you sort of step into this energy where you just sit back, relax, and just trust and let things happen, you will see that shortly after this reading, even, you know, an hour or even less within an hour of this reading, some of you are going to receive contact or receive communication from your person. Your person is going to reach out, they're going to text you, they're going to call you, they're going to finally respond to you, or they're going to, you know, hit you up on uh, social media, or, you know, they're finally going to, if you've, if they've been sitting on a text message and they had to respond and they've just sort of been putting it off, they're finally going to answer back, okay? Um, because you're giving the freedom, okay? Your intention and your actions, instead of coming from a place of energy, uh, uh, from a place of force, you're now operating from a place of freedom. And you're giving your intention and your actions the freedom, the freedom to just be, okay? Um... Okay, just as you allow yourself to be, let your person be as well. Um, and when you have the freedom to choose, and when your person also has the freedom to choose, you know, whether to communicate, whether to respond, whether to reach out, and whether to try and give this connection a go or another go, um, it, then they have, you know, then they have the freedom to choose love, they have the freedom to choose, you know, respect, they have the freedom to choose, you know, uh, to be uh, gratitude, okay, gratitude for you, gratitude for this connection, because these are the things that people freely choose, right? So, when, without force, okay, when there's no, when no force is being applied, and this is so important, guys, this is really important, when no force is being applied, someone, okay, will then accept you for who you are. Okay, they will choose you because it is their choice. Okay, it's the choice. It's they had freedom of choice and they they choose you, 
and they'll want you and they'll need you and they'll love you and they'll respect you and you know these are the choices that they're going to make freely okay because you didn't force you didn't put you know that energy or that vibration of force onto them okay and what that tells you is that's going to heighten your self-esteem okay instead of lowering and damaging your self-esteem it's going to heighten your self-esteem because it's going to tell you you are absolutely worth it and you do deserve it so see how it's a win-win situation for everyone um okay and it's by not forcing the situation can things you know can you truly be who you as you are and who you are and can you truly attract the person that's meant for you okay but when you're trying to make someone want you someone need you when you're trying to make someone you know talk to you so communicate with you you know someone tries you know when you're really forcing someone to spend time with you all all the, like the energy that you're putting out there the vibration that you're putting out there is guilt it's shame it's resistance you know it's fear okay and they don't see you okay and they, they don't see you okay they either don't respond to you or they do respond to you in the same um, vibration or otherwise they do not see you they cannot pick up on your vibration so if there's no contact no communication it's possible that you're operating in this energy of force and fear and shame and guilt and resistance and your person is not seeing you okay your person is not able to pick up on that energy okay and this is why there's no contact no communication or this is why there's nothing happening or otherwise they do see you and they're responding to you okay they're reflecting back to you much like a mirror the same vibration that same um, energy so um okay um right now five of swords you know it's an energy of it's resistance it's struggle right it's a it's the, there's a bit of a struggle okay force that's the, that's where you know i'm getting this energy of force from the five of swords but what you want there to be is peace and if you want to achieve peace in this relationship in this connection you absolutely just have to let this person you know um come approach this come from this um at a like from a place of freedom okay so just allow for things to allow for things to happen naturally okay allow for things to happen organically and when you give this the freedom that is when things will finally happen okay when you step back and give this the connection the freedom that it deserves i'm not saying you're suffocating it but or maybe you are maybe you're suffocating it you know with energies of fear and resistance um but when you give it the freedom only then can this connection truly flourish only then can you expect you know like flow and just this smooth and effortless flow of communication and contact coming your way and positive momentum and everything is you know you know that ten of cups that ideally seen okay um three of cups you know um joyous moments okay raising your vibration um you know knight of cups love offers emotional love offers sweet gestures romantic gestures um just this you know romantic energy and vibrations okay but all you know and you can expect all this good stuff to come to you and all this good stuff to flow to you but only if you just give this the freedom that it needs and that it deserves okay so you know not a, i'm not saying abandon it okay you know you know watch closely how you interpret things i'm not saying abandon it but i'm saying giving give it the freedom that you that this needs um so yes you know if there's no contact no communication you can okay but only if okay so if you don't hear if you don't end up hearing from the other person if you guys don't end up communicating you know within an hour or even several hours or even a couple of days after this reading it's because you're still continuing to operate in this energy of fear and resistance and that's what's blocking contact communication that's what's blocking your person from coming forward or from coming back it's also what's blocking you know it, what's uh, repelling your person instead of attracting them okay so watch the energy and vibration you're putting out there okay but if you just step back trust the universe and just let this be what it's meant to be you will receive contact and communication you will receive contact communication from your person very soon they may even call you or text you to ask you out to uh, ask to meet up with you you know they may even do something very sweet like a, a sweet um romantic gesture for you okay they may take you out they may want and dine you here um a nice uh, dinner date might be in store for you okay that's because you're allowing things to happen 
all right guys i'm gonna leave it at that thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support to the channel if you haven't already by liking um and subscribing do hit that subscribe button guys it helps the channel to grow um thank you again bye